All right, all right. So, I am working on a Briggs & Stratton. It's about a three and a half horsepower, an older engine uh, that still has the box head. And it needs a valve job. I need to take the valves off, clean, clean them up. And I wanna show you how to use the uh, spring compressor tool. Let me show you what I got. All right, so I'm ready to compress the springs, these valve springs here. And you can see here's the tool I use on this. This is one version of it. You can find them online and I'll include a link to it. Uh, these are made specifically for this type of engine, the, the box head engines. If you're gonna, this won't work on uh, like the overhead valve engines. It's a different tool if you need it. Uh, but this one, this one works on the, on the box head engines and you can see the adjustments here so you can spread that out depending on the size of your spring the diameter of it and when you insert it you try to go uh, at the top of the spring and the bottom of the spring here and make your adjustments for the width for the diameter of that uh, of the spring where you can take it in and when you get it in there you just rotate that down compress the spring and you're able to pull it out and and I'll show you I'll get it in there and when I take the spring out it's easier to show you once I get it out and and we can inspect it then all right I hope the the lighting is good enough. I know there's a, it's very bright behind this, this engine here. So hopefully you can see where I'm going. Uh, at first, I'm going to make sure. Yeah, see it spreads open, pretty nicely. So now I'm going to tighten it down a little bit, so it'll be snug. too much there we go yeah okay so now I want the top to go all the way up there as far as I can there we go and now I'll tighten it down Looks like it slid off of the top rung, but I think that's fine. I think it will. Uh, I think it'll go up. So now that that bottom pin on there, it has kind of a slot that you need to. line up so that you can slide it and I'll show you once I get this off there we go and now I'm pulling the valve out and there we go see ideally I would want this up over this total top edge but uh, but it slipped off. So I probably could have tightened it down a bit. But you see there's the slot here. Let me grab this valve. Well that's pretty nasty, isn't it? So, so you can see the slot where the valve goes in this way and then snaps into place. You pull it back to the center and then that keeps it from from slipping through and when you're putting it back on right now the the slot is facing you know about 30 degrees 20 20 to 30 degrees over I'm gonna line it up so it's directly in line with the slot towards this end that way when you're putting it in you can slide your valve in and just and then just pop you know just straighten it out and then loosen it up so 
So I'll show you once I'm ready to install these things. I'm going to take both of these off, both of these springs off and do a little bit of cleaning. You can see the valve needs it. So, so now you're ready, you can just loosen it up. You can see I'm just turning that counterclockwise, loosening it up and be sure to do it nice and easy, get it off of there. You don't want this spring to, uh, to shoot off somewhere across your shop. <laughs> so, so that's it. I'm going to do the same thing for this other valve spring, do a little cleaning, and then I'll show you how to put it back in. See, there's our little piece. You line it up on the spring. Now you take your tool and slide it on. Okay? And then make sure it's not going to slide off. You know, I kind of tighten it up a little bit. Now you want that slot to be facing forward. And by forward of the tool, that is. You want it facing this way. And the way I do that so that when you're ready to put the valve in like that you can slide it in and then and then push it push your tool forward so when you're in here like this you can come in at, you, you go in at an angle and then you can push it in otherwise I mean you can do it the other way but you'd be putting it in cockeyed and then straightening it out to pull it out so it's kind of, it works, it just seems to me like it's, it's, it's easier to, uh, to have this facing forward. So with your spring on, in place, everything looks secured. You can compress the spring. And while it's out, I just put my finger in front of it, just to make sure, you know, you don't want that spring to, to fly off. And there we go, it's all compressed. We can put it into place, and I'm going to slide the valve in. And there we go. Now let's loosen up the tool. Let the spring extend out. And pull it out. And there you go. give it a cycle or two make sure it's doing fine and when you're doing this make sure it's top dead center still so that your tap it's here for the for your valve make you know that they're all the way down so let's do the other one and let's slide the valve in Slide it in, it's cockeyed. There we go. Straighten it out. And there we go. Let's cycle it a few times. Alright, valve job is done. Alright, so that's it for uh, using the, uh, the valve spring tool. And just remember this certain tool, you know, Briggs & Stratton puts out one. There's a couple other makers. Uh, I'll put a link down in the description where you can find it. And remember this one is for uh, the box head uh, engines, uh, not, the, uh, not the overhead valves. So that's about it. Uh, real quick, short video. Uh, once again, thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and watch for my next video. All right. You ready?
Ready? Ready, Freddy?